How's it going guys, Sean Blocks here. If you happened to watch my latest accessory news video, that one that I uploaded a few days ago, I briefly spoke about an old Roblox event that was returning. The event that was apparently going to be making a comeback is called Wonder Woman the Femiscira Experience. If that's how you pronounce it, I still don't know. I'm sure you guys have seen this event before. This event is getting pretty old now. It was made last year in 2020. It's one of those disappointing events where you have to play mini games for points in order to redeem accessories, but to be fair, at least the prizes still work. I don't really enjoy these events to be honest, they take way too much time and effort and they are way too repetitive. You have to play these same mini games over and over again to get points, and then you spend your points in the in-game stores to redeem prizes. You can also spend Robux, but I wouldn't really recommend doing that, it seems like a bit of a waste of money, sometimes it can get really expensive. You can often find UGC items which look similar which are just way cheaper. Anyway, that's the Wonder Woman event in a nutshell. Basically, it's not very good and not many people like it. Let me get onto the topic of today's video anyway. So apparently this event has been updated. However, the new update was really disappointing. I guess just like the previous update, people didn't really like it. But this latest one is definitely the worst so far. You guys also might have seen in my last video that Roblox added this back onto the events tab. You know when you're on the Roblox website, and you look at the bottom left hand side of the page, you can see all of the Roblox events which are currently running. So yeah, Roblox added it here and then they removed it. I think it was only on here for like one or two days. So yeah, I guess Roblox didn't really approve of this event update either. Anyway, let me show you guys what happened. Right, so yeah, like I said on the events tab, it has now been removed. Well, I'm pretty sure it has. Maybe I will disable my plugin quickly just to make sure. Sometimes there's a glitch with the better Roblox plugin and if you have this plugin enabled, Enabled, then events won't display. I don't know why, but let's just see if that's the case. And no, it's not. It turns out Roblox did in fact remove this from the events tab. But anyway, if I just close this down, here is the game. As we can see, the title of the game is exactly the same. 50% like ratio, which is very bad. 250 people playing it, which is not very good for a Roblox event. But like I said, the thumbnail has been changed and it now says DC Kids Fandom New Content. Yeah, I know it's a bit weird. This new content thing here is also a lie. I will get onto that in a second. Right, so over on the games page, updated one day ago. The weird thing is they kind of removed all of like the Wonder Woman screenshots and the Wonder Woman images. I don't know why, because they were like GFX renders and they looked pretty good. This stuff here is just like Teen Titans screenshots and kids in costumes. I guess it was like a Halloween competition or something. I don't quite know. The title of the game is exactly the same. However, the description has changed. Join Robin from Teen Titans Go and Robin from the original Teen Titans as they take you on a tour through the DC multiverse with exclusive sneak peeks of new shows, movies and more from your favourite DC superheroes with special surprises and celebrity appearances. Now this description right here is pretty much clickbait, like the updates they did inside of this game is honestly so bad, it's so lazy and just like really boring. I also want to show you guys despite them updating it one day ago, they pretty pretty much added nothing. All of these prizes are exactly the same. They're like the old Wonder Woman prizes. I'm pretty sure most of you guys watching this video have probably played this event. You've probably got all of the prizes that you wanted to get by now. There's a few good ones. The sunglasses, I think they were pretty good. And yeah, that was pretty much it. There was some random cheetah stuff that was added last year. But like I said, nothing new, no new prizes. In my opinion, the updates they did on this game are really bad. I'm sure a few of you guys are very curious to see what they changed anyway. So let me join the game and I will show you guys what they updated. All right, so here we go. I spawned into the game. Now, to be honest, guys, when I first joined this, I was so confused. I was running all over the map and I was like, what did they change? What is this Teen Titans update? Because there's no new prizes. There's no new badges. I couldn't find any new mini games. Everything is still kind of like the Wonder Woman experience, even though I'm pretty sure this Wonder Woman film is kind of old now. I'm pretty sure they're not even showing this in the cinemas anymore. I'm not too sure but I'm guessing it was a 2020 film. So yeah I was running all over the map. I was trying to find the Teen Titans stuff and it turns out the only thing they updated was this DC fandom event and it's basically a cinema screen with a countdown. So yeah it has around 20 minutes. When the 20 minutes is up it basically displays like this Teen Titans thing. I don't really know what it is. I guess it's just one big advert basically advertising the new Teen Titans TV show telling people
people to watch it on TV. I think it was on Cartoon Network or something. I don't know. I watched it for a few seconds, but I didn't really concentrate on it. Yeah, it was pretty boring, honestly. Anyway, I'm just playing the game now. And why have a load of like Roblox staff joined or something? This guy's got like the black iron domino crown. What is going on? Why did all of these guys suddenly join? Oh, I just realized what these guys are. I've heard of this Gibfoot guy before. I think Dieter Pays talked about him or something. These people are Roblox experience testers. Why are they following me around the map? This is actually a bit creepy, I'm not gonna lie. I reckon these types of people don't really like me, to be honest, because of all the leaks and stuff I do. Oh, that's what they are. They're QA testers, quality assurance testers. So what they do is they like test Roblox events and test Roblox games to make sure there's no bugs or glitches. I've got no idea why these guys decided to join me inside of the game. They clearly went over to my profile to try and join me anyway. I'm guessing they're trying to get in a video or something, but I don't know. Apparently a lot of these people don't like me, so that's probably why they're doing this. That's kind of funny, actually. What is this guy saying? Spooky, scary skeletons. Wait, what's so special about this random emo guy again? I really didn't expect this to happen while I was recording the video. That is honestly so funny. But anyway, guys, like I was saying about this event, this new like Teen Titans Go update, it's not really anything special. There's no new prizes, there's no new badges or anything like that. Also, if you guys didn't know, Teen Titans Go accessories do already exist on the Roblox website. I'm pretty sure there was like a Roblox Teen Titans event a few years ago. If I'm remembering correctly, I'm pretty sure the last Roblox Teen Titans event was back in 2015. I think. I'm not too sure. Anyway, this was one of the prizes. Robin's mask. It's pretty cool to be fair. I do actually own this on my main Roblox account. And yeah, I do like it. I think it looks kind of funny. But it does look fairly realistic to the Robin from the cartoon show. We also had this one, Raven's mask. Again, this is a hat accessory and it also looks pretty good. I like it. I also got this on my old Roblox account. And I can't forget this one. This one is called Beast Boy. And this one is a gear. Roblox don't really make gears anymore. But this is what it looks like when you equip it, I guess. It would have been cool if this was a shoulder accessory. But this was made quite a few years ago when Roblox gears were still popular. But yeah, I guess it looks kind of cool. Would you guys like it if Roblox recycled these old prizes back into the Wonder Woman event? I guess some people would like it. Maybe the Roblox players that got these items back in 2015 wouldn't be very happy about that. But I don't know. It would be kind of cool if that happened, I guess. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to say this new Teen Titans Go update, whatever it's supposed to be, it's nothing really that interesting. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.